start right now. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Uh, not ready. I don't need you fucking talking shit and putting me down, Mark. Cause just because you're late doesn't mean whatever. I'm tired of you being late for this show. You wait one more time, that's it. You're out. I thought I was late last month after we spent that weekend together. <laughs> Oh gosh. Are you still building there, Brian? <laughs> no, I'm not. I just I'm I'm sort of just chilling and I'm admiring Tony. And all your mods better have batteries in them tonight. Are you gonna do a battery check, fucker? Working atomizers. I wanna yeah, we're gonna check this shit. <laughs> I'm gonna check you for a sex change. <laughs> I'll let you check ahead, check me. I'm ready. Is the show is that does anybody have the show streaming? Nope, I do, and I'm, I'm yeah, it's going. <laughs> good, good. All right, then. I was like, what? Well, Tony B, the picky eater, is here, and we're gonna get started with this little intro. We'll see you in a second, everybody. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. This is episode 113. It's time to squonk. Tonight, we have a very special guest who is really a squonker. He's a squonky guy. He's also a picky <laughs> eater. The man himself, the Vapor Trail Channel, or Vapor Trail Channel, Tony B. 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 B, Tony. What's happening? I don't, it's special in a what kind of way? Like, you know, special... Special in a step above Mark kind of way. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's not saying a lot. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so welcome back. It, it's, it's been a couple weeks, and we're glad to have you back. We said we were going to have you back, and you followed through, so I appreciate you coming on the show again, Tony. Oh, absolutely, man. Yeah, when the last show ended, I was like, tell me when you're ready next. So Yeah, we had a lot of fun last time. If you guys didn't check that out, uh, check out the replay for the vape team, and that was uh, probably like four weeks ago, I think. So here yes. we go. Stop watching this show now and go check it out. Thank you. Yeah, Thanks. yeah, great, great idea, Mark. <laughs> with <laughs> the man with the master plan, the Greek god of vaping, the iron lung, the third lung, trifecta lung, Mikey motherfucking vapes. Hello, everybody. Welcome. <laughs> Our junior member, the man that puts gas in ass, vaping vegan, vegan, fecal. Fe hey, fe fecal Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Squonk Life is on the menu tonight. We've been uh, building up our supply of Squonkers. I think that, honestly, we could just give it over to Tony for the whole entire show, and he has enough product in, from, uh, in front of him to keep the show I, rolling. I really, I got a lot of product in front of me. But, you know, that's, it's one of those things, man, when you, I, it's, it's just like when I first got into getting like, you know, sub ohm tanks and stuff. And I was like, oh, well, this one's not, I got to have another one. You know, this one's good. I want more. Well, once I dove into the, uh, the squonking pool, I was like, oh my God. And, and it's like that with a lot of people, you get very obsessed. Once you join one Facebook group, then over on the right hand side, all these other ones are enticing you. And you're like, ooh, join, join, join. And then you start looking at all these things and you're like, damn, I got to have, it's like Pokemon. You got to have them all. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Why don't you why don't you why don't we run down what you're vaping on tonight in terms of product? All right. Uh, let's my, do a little buffet action. My little buffet action here. Let's see. So uh I've got this um this is the minimal mods, and I love this thing because not only is it just a nice mod, but like check out that button on there. I like that mod. Isn't that cool? 
And it's really cool because this guy, Joe Simpson in the UK, he makes them. He's got all these little inlays. Everything matches on them when you order them. Uh, you know, mother of pearl. He's got turquoise and all that kind of stuff. And what's nice about this, damn it, I didn't bring my uh, Archon up here. But uh, between the Archon and, say, this little bitty Steam Rabbit, it's just a little bit bigger than the Steam Rabbit. And it is just a little bit smaller than the Archon. It's kind of just right. It's the Goldilocks. But um, it's really nice. Uh, it, uh, inside of here, he's got the battery separated from the bottle, which is nice. And these uh, Mod Maker 510s that he's using, by far, I've used just about every one of them that's out there. By far, aside from maybe my $300 no fucks given, uh, aside from this, Italian Mod, that has got to be the best 510. It's spring-loaded. You don't have to adjust it. Um, it's just super solid and I love it, but yeah, minimal mods love this thing. And let's see. So that one, I've got dough cream in it. Vaping that stuff. This is very tasty right mm. here. And then next got the boxer mod. Love this thing, man. Absolutely love it. It's just fantastic. Now at first I was like, what is that? But what he did is he used Delrin on the bottom of that. So it won't short out and it's got a screw, I'm not gonna take this thing apart, but there's a screw that's underneath here holding the contact in, which I think is a, it's a, it's a really nice touch. But I just love that locking button, mm -hmm. so nice. I know that people are frustrated on this because they're like, oh man, I totally, here's the thing though, I, you know, I talked to Ginger Vapor and, and they're like, look, I don't wanna put something out until I have it exactly right and until everything is ready to go, they're just not gonna start shipping them, right? He said he could have released it already. But he made some changes that's going to benefit everybody with it. So right, worth the wait. You yeah, want so, it to be perfect. So. Yeah. So if you bought one, definitely it's it's worth the wait. And in this one, I have got the berry crunch time. I'm totally on a cereal kick, man. I love my cereal vapes. And then next, let's see. Well, I've got the Italian mod, the no fucks given. It's a DNA 75. I got a lot of crap for this one. People are like, Dude, you paid $300 for that thing? I'm like, it was, you know, I mean, yeah, I did. I saved up. I wanted one. I wanted an Italian mod and I got it. It's just funny how people will, you know, just give you so much shit. You're like, really, dude? <laughs> I mean, well, Tony, they're going to bitch if you get it for free. They're going to bitch if you pay for it. They're going to bitch if you fucking suck dick for it. They don't care. <laughs> right. But yeah, love this thing. And in this one, I have got the pink mod milk, which I've got that in something every single day. I love that. Uh, let's see what else I've got one more. Oh, I've got the inbox from H cigar, which, you know, they had discontinued this mod and they sold off all their stock of it to Gearbest. That's why Gearbest was the only place that you could find it. And, uh, that's a gator board tip on there, by the way. Um, yeah. And so they had sold off all their stock. Well, I had approached them and said, you guys need to re-release that and actually make a couple of adjustments to it, fix that bottle system. So it's not proprietary. So I can use all my really cool bottles in there because that's what squawkers want to do. Um, maybe even put a DNA 60 in here instead of the 75 because they perform better. You know, I don't know. But uh, a couple of improvements. But I know Brad's Vapor started doing some special orders for these things. And now all of a sudden I see H Cigar has pictures of like custom ones up on their Instagram and stuff. I'm just hoping that they do take what I said. <laughs> it's, it's a nice little $100 DNA 75 squawker. And it works wonderfully. I love it. At least it. put the new chip in one. Make a new one with the 75C, which... Oh, that would be great. Yeah, it would. You know, maybe a, a 2700 battery. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. Or make it so you could use a 2700 or a 21700. Because yeah. you could do that. They're only slightly taller. I think the 21700 is slightly taller, right? Yeah, yeah. Have, like a, have an adjustable fucking positive pin for the battery contact. Something, you know. You know, like a little spinner or something like that? Or right. spring loaded, or make it yeah, make it spring loaded. There you go, Both. just more of a throw. And then that one, I have berry milky. Mm. So that's the ones that I've been vaping on, and I've got a bunch of them here. If we guys want to talk about those later, but what what, what else? What are you guys vaping? Well, when I look at you, you make me feel like I need to take a vacation because <laughs> you're like <laughs> you have this permanent fucking vacation look to you, and it makes that's, me just want to. <laughs> I, I, dude, I am on permanent vacation. I'm one of those people that lives where everybody vacations. And, and it's like, it's, it's the best thing ever, dude. I, I'm so blessed. It's like out my front door, there's water, like five minute walk. And if I go in, in the truck, I can go to the beach in five minutes in my truck. So, I mean, it's, it's literally a, just a string of islands that goes on the outside of North Carolina. Very, very lucky. It's just like, this is where I landed. 
you know, when I worked on radio, it was my last radio job, aside from Jersey. But uh, I'm totally, totally stoked, man. But so, yeah, I'm, that's that's my thing. I'm on vacation. We're going to have uh, Mike and I are going to contact Angela for approval to make sure she can travel with Mark. And then we'll make a trip down and maybe we'll sleep on your living room floor. Or something Dude, you like should that. do that. You know, you'd have to do that because my wife is pissed. We have a three bedroom. This is the office. And the other bedroom is a studio with the green screen and all that stuff. So she's like, dude, you've taken over every bit of this freaking house. Yeah. <laughs> and then my dining room is filled with, you guys know how this is, but my dining room is filled with DHL packages and <laughs> UPS boxes and stuff. She's like, dude, she's constantly going, that's got to go. Pick your favorite 10 and the rest has got to go. I'm like, it's not happening. But hey, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Mark, what are you vaping on tonight? I see you vaping over there. I see you with your hand out of view. What's going on in, in your room tonight? That's not vaping. I feel so unprepared because all those squonk mods. Uh, the only squonk mods I have are the, the boxer you know, with the icon sitting on top, blue on blue with some banana bondage in there. That's one of the few you need, man. Yep, pretty much. One of the best out of the group. I, I got the uh, the SQ with the goon. Nice. And it's, oh, wait, let me talk that way. Never mind. There you go. I didn't want you guys to see that there's no liquid in there. No. Um, <laughs> the T Priv, there we go, with Govad. And the IPv6X with the Freemax light bulb. And the Armageddon, I think, Aftermath Basic with the Apocalypse. Juice, some Pancake Man. Uh, the formula strawberry from Hometown Vapor, the custard from Hometown Vapor, and uh, some more banana bondage. That's it. Really simple. Simple buffet for a complicated man. I love Hell it. Hell yeah. Simple and easy. Just the way I like it. Your way, Brian. Just like you like your men. Simple and easy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, what am I vaping on? Uh I am vaping on the SQ from Signature Tips with the Skill RDA on top of there. That's uh, nice. This is the Skill RDA with the squawk pin in there, obviously. Um, love this little SQ. This is such a small little pocket rocket of a, of a squonker. It is. It's awesome. Yep. I love – there's something about the little finger, little fingering area. It's funny because when the, when I first saw this, I was like, I probably won't like that because I usually don't like – like hand grips on my mods, but dude, this one, I freaking love it. It's awesome. Yeah, I love fingering this thing all, all day when I hold it. And then finger in the hole too. I do. I finger it with my, I thumb it and I use my hand and I touch it. It's an awesome little mod. By the way, uh, anyone that's watching tonight, currently there are f links to Tony's YouTube channel. There are links to the Pulse RDA, which we're going to talk about with Tony tonight, the bottom feeder. There are a link, and that's to bradsvapor.com. There are links to signature tips for this mod. There are links to this little beauty, which is the Boxer Squonk, which is right here from Ginger Vapor. This is the 18650 version with the sliding lock that Tony was gushing about, which I think is such a great thing to put in your pocket. You can actually leave the house in Squonk without worrying about setting it off in your pocket. Uh, pulse on top right there. Um, also vaping on Mikey Motherfucking Vapes, his little project from vandy vape this is the icon with the squonker in there and this is on the uh vape and architect archon yeah i'm a little jealous that is awesome dude i love what he did with the with the holes in that door yeah with Let's i haven't us that. yeah <clears throat> i'll show you that's freaking awesome dude. i haven't got uh, mike's gonna get this too but he sent out he actually custom designed it like it has my name on the inside it has tvc elite on the back he does such great work but uh yeah, check this out. That's cool. So he actually put the bullet holes in the Vape Team logo through the actual case, yeah. which is so cool. Oh. And, and he's going to send a red one out because that thing's going to match up. I so got nice. it right here. You got the red one? No, I have the, uh, like a break. <laughs> Brian, Brian just looked like a little kid, like, huh? Yeah, I was about to drive up to New York. I got the light gray, and then he, I also got the billet door. Yeah, That's the cool. billet door is nice, isn't it? Door, the billet button, and a black uh, button too. Yo, this yeah. billet button is the tits. This one, hold on, with the with the indent in it. Yeah, I t I put everything together, and then I'm like, fuck, I forgot to take the button out. I wanted to put the that button on here. I love that one. 
Yeah, he does great work, man. This thing is beautiful. This is the 2700 uh, battery version, and the icon just sits on there so stout and pretty. Yeah. Per perfect squonk right here. Yeah, they, they used a larger 510 on that because they wanted to make it so that you could, you know, put your 24 mm -hmm. on there, no problem. Um, also vaping on a little bit of peephole from hitthatjuice.com. I'm actually almost ass out of this right here. Ooh. I'm not saying I need more. I'm just not saying I don't. Uh, yeah. I'm also <laughs> having a little issue with the butterscotch right here from Joe Turner's royalvapeproducts.com. Love this stuff. And I'm also vaping on a little bit of banana bondage from Adore eLiquid. A little bit of banana bondage, adoreeliquid.com. And uh, also, <laughs> I call it the gumball machine, but this is something interesting. Maybe we'll talk about this next week because we got a lot of squonking to talk about. But uh, yeah, the completely frightening light bulb and the Boxer 2700 mod from Ginger Vapor. It looks like so, a gumball machine is what it looks like. Yeah. Like a drugstore gumball machine. It does machine. look like a gumball machine. I said no to them. <laughs> I don't want them to do with that thing. It's a pretty awesome tank, though. It's a shame because there's a lot of things I love about it, but there's a couple things I fucking hate. Yeah. But it is what it is. Yeah. So anyway, Mike, it is time for Alrighty. the Greek buffet. What the hell was that? That was my wife scared the shit out of me. She just said squonk. She scared the shit out of me, Tyler. This is a global vaping program. <laughs> global. <laughs> Go ahead. Mike, Mike Vapes, also, global vape celebrity. Go ahead. I'm also vaping on the Archon with uh, the icon on there. And the uh, juice I have inside here is, uh, what do I got? Yeah, this one here, right? Yeah. Surf. Yeah. Uh, satisfying, I think it's called. It's like a raspberry dragon fruit iced tea. That's what I have in here, right? Yes. So I got it. I'm vaping on that. I'm vaping on the boxer with another icon. And in here I have... I know I got this stuff here. The stuff from Hometown Vapor, Sweet Raz. There it is. Some Sweet Raz in there. Um, also vaping on the SQ with no liquid in the bottle because I'm not done yet. But I wanted to use the device. I just finished uh, everything with it. I put a new bottle in there. I put one of the boxer bottles inside there. But... Uh, what happens yeah. here is with the bun, you got to really press to make contact. Because yeah, because it's taller, I think. Yeah. Yep. Uh, it's the metal. This part here, it's bigger. It's yeah, so it kinda, what yeah. happens is it hits against it, but it works. See? Right. Just the tighter. Uh... So I'm vaping on that. I got the goon, and I have uh, Chuck Clouds, the truth in there. Right. Yep. Vaping on that. Uh, I'm also vaping on. Uh, the T Priv with a uh, Govad uh, RTA. And I'm vaping on this mod. I just got this today. It's a prototype. Uh, it's uh, basically made by a company called Incognito Mods, and it's called the No Sin. And they're going to make seven different versions, I guess, for the seven deadly sins. And this one here is uh, the Greed version, but it's a prototype. It's gonna, I think it's going to pretty much change a little bit. But uh, there it is, right here. And I also got another icon on there, and it's a squonker. It's right. nice. Oh, it's got like the push thing from the side. And this one here, instead of pressing a bottle, uh -huh. you I press this. the button. You press the button, and it feeds. So that's your feeding, and then firing. So looks like it hits real nice. Yeah, it hits real nice. It's all yeah. copper. Everything, all the connections are copper. Yeah. So let me see the inside. See how it operates? You can see it right there. You see it. Yeah, the only thing I see is that they need to have that throw a little bit deeper because, man, when I because I'm always just really pushing that bottle, you know. Yeah. Well, like I said, it's a prototype. He gave yeah. it, to me, so I'm going to give him some feedback on it. Uh, I think uh, he says that he should have the finished version the end of June, but he wanted to get some feedback before they start the run on making them. No, I think that's cool. And they're going to be selling them on a Facebook uh, group page. And now, is that made of wood? What is it? No, the... this is 3D printed, but okay. it's not going to be this, what you see here. This is just basically a prototype they made. Yeah, that's cool. Just to test it out. Mm -hmm. yeah. But uh, 
uh, Facebook group is In Incognito Mods. I'm going to have, uh, for people that are in the Facebook group, the vape team, I'm actually going to put a link to this Facebook group. If you guys want to get in on it, you know, check it out. And when he starts selling them on there, I guess they'll have like the list going. What is that? Is that the way it usually works? Like, yeah. Stuff? Yeah. Uh, we can actually talk about that if you guys yeah. want to. So, so yeah, they're going to have this here. Uh, price on this, I'm not sure yet what they're going to be selling it for. But uh, it hits pretty nice. It looks cool. Yeah, look at the finish on there, like the actual design on the front. It yeah, looks so I love, cool. I love this door on here. Love he the door. Two doors. Like, see, this one here is. And at the inside, he actually put a MV. You can't see it, but it's inside under behind the battery. It says MV on there. He marked it. That's cool. What does that stand for? My vagina? Yep. <laughs> Mark's <laughs> vagina, sorry. Mike's, Mike's vagina. <laughs> Mike's was, vagina, yeah. This was another door that he had given me. That's cool. On there. You know, so, pretty cool. So, uh, what else am I vaping on? I think that's it. I also have over here, uh, I am vaping on this too. I have the Pulse on the, uh, what's this called? The G, G Box? Geek Vape G Box? I can't remember the name of it. It's the G Box. Okay, that's it. G Box. Yeah, they stopped making that one. And it's funny because I had, I had to ask them, hey, can you guys send me one of those? Because typically you don't have to, you know, ask Geek Vape to send stuff. But I had, to, and they said, oh, we're, we would really send those out. But I'm actually going to be sending this to Kellen from Eureka. He, he got the pulse and he's like, I just don't know about squonking. And I said, well, let me send you a mod. You can try it out and find out if you like it. I don't understand why they're not making that. You know how many people message me they want that mod? I know. That's the thing. I mean, it was an inexpensive 100-watt dual 18... It's kind of ugly, but, you know, aside from that... I mean, let me see here. And the other thing is they also, just like Council Vapor did with the Wraith, they did that whole bottle system like the Kanger bottle, and that's yeah. just... That's, that's no good. But they'll learn, you know. Yeah. I think all these companies probably have things they're working on. I think we're going to see like the floodgates open and I do affordable too. Chinese mech mods or mechanical squonkers, dual eighteen six feet, dual twenty seven hundred regulated, probably mm -hmm. triple, you know, eighteen six fifty squonk boxes. It's it's on. Might even see a Tony B project. I don't know. You might even see a Tony B project. <laughs> you might. I'm not saying you will, but I'm not saying it's I'm not, not possible. I'm not saying either way, you know. Yeah. Uh, I've, I've got stuff that I've been working on since early last year that are kind of now looking like they might come to fruition. So, yeah, uh, that's cool, Tony, because I have stuff I've been working on since 1996. So <laughs> <laughs> before vaping, even now. before. Yeah, I pretty much before Han Lake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, Mark, what, what's going on with you with Squonkin, man? How, how has your process been? Because you've gotten some awesome products in recently. What's your analysis? What's your feelings? I know you're honest, and you're going to give us the lowdown. I'm enjoying the devices, but I'm not, like, completely satisfied yet because I'm waiting for the dual 18650 devices that are coming out. I mean, I'm not really – a lot of the stuff coming out right now is still mechanical. Wow. I want more for the regulated stuff. That's where I'm going to be, like, really excited. But yeah, I would totally so agree with that. Nice. So far, I mean, if you're a mechanical lover, the SQ and the Boxer are really nice, but I'm waiting for the regulated stuff. Yeah. How about the, personally, yeah, I, go prefer, ahead, Mike. I prefer 2700 uh, Max. Yep. The Squonkers, not ATS. Yeah. <coughs> well, the batteries, you know, those batteries are more efficient. They're going to give you a harder hit, uh, you know. Uh, unfortunately, out of all the stuff that I have, I don't have any 2700 mechs. Yeah. Yep. And it's not so much the battery life. Sorry, that, I bought this, by the way. It's so much building resistance really low to suit the mech mod. I want something where I could just put whatever build in there and just adjust. And I, yeah, I totally get that. And that's one of the problems with entry to squonking right now. One, cost, because squonking has been this little boutique thing for a while. And I, I'm sure that there's people in the squonking community that are like, Tony, just shut up, man. You're, you're exposing it because they want to keep it to their little community. And, and I don't want that. I want everybody to be able to experience it. So that's why we do need to have something for everybody. I don't care, dual, triple batteries, whatever. Um, and I know I pretty much espouse my views on it, but that's just, that's my way of vaping. So it doesn't mean everybody has to agree. 
What about your drones, guys? Because these this is a dual 18650 squonking device that was regulated. This has been out. Like <laughs> you don't like it? No. I, uh, I'll give you the reasons. One, yeah. mine misfired on me multiple times, and I thought it was pretty freaking dangerous. Uh, two... I think it's huge. It's it's a coffee table mod. It's like um, it's 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 like when somebody had an old lighter that they used to put on the coffee table. That lighter wasn't going to go out with you. I was going to stay on the coffee table. To me, that's kind of how that mod is. And if you're going to have a mod that big, might as well go ahead and drip because you're going to be sitting at home. Uh, for me, squonking is about portability. I like a little tiny mod. Now, this is a, another one that I'm going to be putting on the channel soon. You know, some things it's just little tiny because I want to be able to put that in my pocket or carry it around. The idea for me is to have a lot of liquid in a very small device that hits nice and I don't have to worry about the mess. Yes, I might have to carry around an extra battery with me, put it in one of those little silicone cases or in a plastic case and toss it in my wife's purse. <laughs> but, you know, I can usually get through at least half a day on one battery on a, on a Mac. Uh, but, you know, the truth is I still love these regulated mods and that's that's – what I end up using a lot, and you know, that's why I spent 300 bucks on one. Yes, I think I'm looking forward to uh, boxers coming out with a DNA 75C. Yeah, oh, yeah. that's going to take a single 2700 or a 21700. I think it's going to take both. It, it is going to take both. Yeah, take both. And that's a nice mod right there. Yeah, well, we were saying earlier with the way to get both. Yeah, he's doing that, so I'm stoked on that. Yeah. I also liked how he included the little battery compartment with the batteries, the boxer batteries, uh, with the kit. I don't know if that comes with all the kits, but when he sent my uh, my boxer squonker, it came with a little battery case, and I just love that the safety aspect of it. Yeah, I didn't get that. No. <laughs> okay, so I'm waiting for the the S modus squonk. It's going to be a dual battery regulated. They're going to have two of them. There's going to be a single. Yeah. Mac, I think, and then the dual uh, regulated. And there's another company that's coming out with a mod, just like the mod that you've shown, you showed us right, right. before we went live. Right. I don't know where they got the idea from. I'm assuming they probably borrowed it from wherever that came from, but sure. It's gonna be like a like a one two where you could switch it between one battery or two batteries. That would be cool. Uh -huh. See that way if you feel like having the small one, you could take that out like that. And if you wanted to go dual, you could do that too. You know, that's, I mean, inherently the problem is you have to fit the bottle in there. Okay. So if you are going to go dual, and this is not too bad. This is the Halcyon. It has a 900 milliamp hour uh, LiPo battery in it. Now, if you could take this and just put a little bit of extra space on the side of this, you could get two batteries in there and it wouldn't be too terribly large, but it is, it's a little bit big. But yeah, I, I still love this thing, but you can't get them anymore. Do you think these devices, like, I, I never really thought about it, but confining ourselves to these round bottles, like what about like square or like different sized bottles in these devices? I wonder if that would work. What was that? There was one that had a square bottle in the bottom right corner of the squonk. Uh, it was a squonk bottle that was square. You can buy those bottles. They call them soy sauce bottles. Mm -hmm. uh, you can buy them on eBay and stuff. And I actually bought a couple of those for some of the smaller ones that I have. They're okay, but the problem is they, because it's square, when you push it, they crink, the edges crinkle in and stuff, and sometimes that makes the threads of the bottle crinkle and liquid can come out. So there's maybe a functionality reason why we use round bottles. Also, somebody in chat just mentioned that 75 watts is not enough, and I think that really depends on if it's regulated on the voltage. And now that the 75C raised the voltage limit, I think, to 9 volts, right, Mike? Right. Yes, that changes everything. Because if you look at what volts you're pushing out, it's a lot. I mean, if you do your build right and the resistance is low enough, it's a fucking powerful 75 watts. Yeah, but another thing is we got to remember there's all different mods for different ways of vaping. Like if you right. want more wattage, get yourself a drone. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. so right. this. But, I'm, but I will tell you this: I know people think you know. I, I don't know. I guess for me, uh, a like on a regulated device. I got a, a build in here. I don't remember what's in this. Let me see. Oh, this is a medium fused Clapton that's inside of here. And it is coming out to 0 0.48 ohms, 50 watts. Yeah. 
something like those mods, DNA 75s or the 60s. I mean, why do you need more than that? That's my question. Yeah, that's perfect for, uh, that's why, like I said, I know when I did the review for your Pulse, I said the right. Pulse for me is more of a, not for a mech squonker. I would use, that's something I would use on a regulated squonker. Sure, but then again, okay, so the build that's in this one is yeah. 0.2 ohms. Right, I can't vape a 0.2 ohm. Yeah, um, it's like, some people it's too high. That's like, it's a very cold vape for me. Oh, man. This is actually not. With a VTC 5A in here, I mean, the coil that's in here, this is from James Mucklin. This yeah. is a six-core alien. Uh-huh. All right, and let's see here. That's a very warm vape right there. It just depends on your batteries. I'm going to tell you for these mechs, just straight up, I've tried a lot of different batteries for them. The VTC 5A is one of the best for an 18650. Yeah, that's, that's, that's all we all use. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. All, I have 20 of them. A point two so, for me is a very cold vape. I've tried. Yeah, I get that because that's the thing. I, I Sometimes I forget when I'm telling people what I like. That you know, everybody has different tastes, and you might so, want a really hot vape. I like a point one two in the pulse, single coil stainless steel. Nice. Yeah. Very cool. I, I got really a, good. I got a point zero eight, which is probably really low in the icon, and that's like perfect. That's dual but, though, right? But going, but going towards what I said, uh, with the single coil, even like the Hadley, for example, or your RDA, mm -hmm. uh, you put a nice single coil build, even if it's a point four. You know, and you run it like on a DNA seventy five. Yeah, you're gonna get a nice vape off that. Sure, yeah. real nice. Where you can yeah. adjust the wattage. You know, that's uh, that's something that I can't wait for. Uh, yeah. I'm looking. I'm really looking forward to that DNA seventy five squonker for that reason. You know. Yeah, absolutely. Because for me, the, I like single coil RDAs, but I need them on a regulated mod, not on a squonking mech. That's, yeah, one of the one of the things too. Okay, I don't know what this is all about. You can answer it. <laughs> I know, right? Whatever. Yeah. So, uh, man, it totally derailed me. What, is, what was I going to say? What were we talking about? We're, ta <laughs> we're talking about which lubrication you prefer when you go anal. Um, <laughs> I'm hey, sorry. Go ahead. None, because, you know, hey. You spit, right? If you're going to do it, it's got to be Rough Rider, right? Of course. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I told you, Mike, when we were talking last night about it, I told you that's what he'd say. Uh -huh. <laughs> go ahead, Tony. I forgot where I was going to go with you that. Were, we were talking about single coil and the DNA 75. Oh, one of the reasons why I like single coil, too, is that, you know, okay, so you're going to buy a set of coils. Coils might cost, depending on who you buy them from, if you're going to buy some fancy coils from Squid Dude or something like that, it might be 20 bucks for a set of coils. Either way, even if it's only 10 bucks for a set of coils, now you have two builds, going to use less battery, um, and especially if you're using a mech, that's something to take into consideration. Yeah, nice. Yeah, Coilology makes some good, good. Oh, okay, cool. I haven't gotten their wire, but I've got a whole bunch of their coils. But yeah, so, you know, you're going to use less cotton. You're going to probably use less juice because you're not, you know, running it through two coils. So a lot of reasons why single coils are nice for me. Anyways, that's, that's, that's yeah, I like it. Did you see uh, Merlin's dual coil vertical <laughs> build I on did. your pulse? I was I like, did. I was like, what? He's Dude, the fucking well, happiest cloud blower I've ever seen in my life. Like, he gets home from his hard day at work and yeah. puts a big fat smile on his face and just loves to fucking vape. He is so jovial. Now, uh. somebody else did a side-by-side, -side and I was like, "How? Now, does that fit? Can you get it in there? He said, yeah, there are little micro coils, but he did side-by-side -side in there. So, yeah, A lot of these uh, single coil, even RTAs, like, for example, the Golvad, yeah. RTA, you could actually put a dual coil in there. You can. They're going to yeah. be... Two small little coils you're gonna put in there. You but unfortunately, you do on this one. You do have those airflows to contend with. Yeah. But, um, you know, now I've had a lot of people say, "What about a 24 millimeter? Uh, you know, a Pulse 22 or 24 BF?" Yeah. And that's not out of the question. You know, I mean, because the way I look at it, you know, I, I guess I was pretty tunnel vision when it released because I was like, "No, this is this is my passion. You know, this is how I think it should be." But again, it's not one size fits all. So yeah, I've definitely been talking to uh, to Vandy Vape about a possibility of a 24 dual coil. So we'll see if it happens. You know, I mean, but either way, I'm. I'm here's the thing. I looked at it like even if this thing did not sell, I'm like I still got what I wanted, and yeah. I've got six of them going right now. So you know, yeah. I was like, I, this is what I wanted. 
So this is this is how it came about. But. How do you guys feel about uh, every once in a while? I get somebody that's left-handed or right-handed, and they'll say like, you know, with the SQ, you fire right. with your thumb, you fire with your pointer finger. But if you're left-handed, or depending on what country you're in and what side of the road you drive on, the hand that you have to vape with might be one. How do you deal with you know not being able to squonk as easily because it's on the opposite side? Right here. Exactly. Well, that is yeah. That would that would be one way. I don't know. It, 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 if I'm so what your thumb is your only finger for squonking. I mean, if you're left-handed, you can hold it and you can squonk it with your thumb. You just turn it around. Well, on the SQ because you have the grip. I I can see where that's exactly. Going. Well, I'm just bringing it up because people have just mentioned it, and not that I right. feel like it's a huge issue, but you know, the most versatile. And I guess when you try to focus on fixing everything for everyone, sometimes you really sell yourself short. It loses its heart. Yeah, absolutely. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah. Hey, I was showing you guys this thing. I just got this from uh, a website in Italy. And what this guy does, does this still have a battery in it? Yeah. So what this guy does is, let's see, it says VTCBF. That's because he takes the board out of a VTC Mini and he puts it in here. And I was like, oh, I was so excited about it because that mod, I used that mod like, you know, when I was big tank guy. I use that mod like constantly. I have four of them. Yeah, exactly. And I absolutely love the board in that thing. Yeah. So I was so excited. I got this today. I don't have to talk to him because I think the 510 has a problem because when I put an atomizer on here, it comes out, it reads uh, like maybe one to two ohms higher, but right there, man, VTC mini chip right inside of this. And I was able to upgrade it today, the firmware to the latest firmware. So it recognizes it and everything else. I'm just I'm so bummed that I can't use it because it you know it'll read two ohms when I know that the coil that's in there is zero point two eight. I'm like, dang. Is it a three uh, D printed mod? It is. What he does is yeah, everything on here is all three D printed, and this over here is where the chip is. It's got two screws right there to hold the faceplate on. But I mean, what a brilliant idea! I'm like, dude, why haven't I seen this before? You know, so. I guess maybe because you'd have to buy VTC minis to stick the board in here. Yeah. Yeah, that's the only down. Like you would have to d destroy the mod just to make a mod. Right. Yeah. It's kind of cool repurposing old mods that don't have really much life left in them anymore. Yeah. And also, a lot of vape shops get stuck with inventory and they can't get rid of stuff. And this might be a way for them to make some cash. You know. Yeah. Scoop it up for cheap. The yeah. problem I think might lie with this five ten fat daddy five ten. Mm. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're not. And I think that might be the problem on here because I tried everything else, but dang, I was so bummed. I got this today. I was like, ooh, I totally, I'm like, I'm so obsessed with squonking that I have to have them all. And when I, you know, when I got this thing, the UPS driver came up, I was like, yes, yes, I, I'll sign for it. And then I got in the house all excited, opened it up, and I stuck a battery in there, put an atomizer on there, and I was like, huh? So, I don't know. Hopefully he can help me out. Hey, Mike, do you have a favorite uh, f sort of uh, feel for the button on your mechanical squonkers? Is there one that you prefer the most, and do you know why? Have you thought about that at all? Or do you think they're all pretty similar? They're all pretty similar. Um, I don't know. I think I kind of like uh, the button uh, to have, like, a little indentation inside it. Like the way the... Are you talking about the throw or the way the button feels? The, th the, the throw, the contact point. Oh, I thought you meant how the button feels itself. Yeah, not the, not the material or the feel or the indent or anything like that, oh. but the throw itself. They're pretty much all this kind of the same. Some are a little bit uh, longer of a throw. Right. I do like that they come up with all these different materials and stuff to use. I mean, this right here. This one is from ICM, Ice Cream Mods. His uh, group on Facebook is ICM Mods. The entire body of this is made of Delrin. And he, I don't know, people will complain like, oh, God, that thing is like how much money? I mean, it's, it's $200. I think it's maybe $130 or something like that. But you got to remember, this guy has to have these things bored out. And then he hand buffs them because I don't know if you've ever dealt with Delrin, but it's it's – you have to have a nice soft buffing type of thing for it. He actually gives you a little buffing cloth for it to buff out scratches and stuff. 
But to get these things nice and smooth like that, mm, it's hard. Plus, he has this nice, okay, I don't know who's calling me from Chula Vista, California, but, and then he has these nice little wooden doors. They're actually very cool. How much is the price on that? I think it's like 130 bucks. Yeah, that's a fair price for it. I mean, a lot of people think that they hear the material, but they think that they're supposed to get it for free. Or yeah, I listen. I understand. People We're, work; they need to make money, right? If they're making these mods, I mean, this is well, are involved in them. This is a good subject for a squonking show, okay? Because people I, I, invariably, I mean, most of the time, people are pretty understanding about it. When I put one of these on the channel, and I say, "Yeah," so you got to join a Facebook group. You got to go in there and wait for them to put up a batch, and then you have to X one win a spot to buy it, and they get you know really bent out of shape sometimes. And I'm like, "Look, here's the deal." This is a guy who's making these in his living room, okay? Mm -hmm. He makes 20, maybe maybe 40 of them a month, if that many, right? So it's just a dude making these things. So anytime you buy a handcrafted item, if you buy a hand-sewed uh, set of clothes, they're going to cost you more than going to Target and buying a T-shirt, right? So, I mean, and if you don't like it, then... Don't buy it. Don't go into the Facebook group. Don't tempt yourself. Don't buy it. But there's no reason to get bent out of shape. Like, oh, these guys are, they're just raking us over the coals. I'm like, okay, well, like this minimal mod. Okay, here's another version of the minimal mod. And, you know, he has to outsource to Shapeways. I'm sure that's because most of them use Shapeways to create these things. But he had to do all the 3D CAD creation of it. He had to design it. Uh, he has to buy all the materials that are going to go into it after that. Solid silver contacts, that's not cheap. The, the 510s, the bottles, all the materials to do it. And then his time. And you know what? Also, because they're limited, it, it's going to cost you a little bit more. I mean, that's just how it is. But Well, the uh, reason people get pissy is because they see almost the same mod on like 3F Vape for like $15. And they're trying to understand where the price difference is. And they don't realize it's like handmade yeah material You're right. and this and that like i get the same thing for 15 dollars when we're in reality it's not the same mod oh well yeah, yeah. and there's there's no secret that there's a uh you know uh, a, a plethora of them out there of stuff that we know stuff that i've showed you tonight is is out there for 15 dollars, and i'm like okay dude <laughs> seriously if they made that mod for 15 bucks uh there's no way that that thing is as good or as safe I, you know and plus a 3D printed mod, it's going to cost you money to either buy the 3D printing gear to print them, or you're going to have to, you know, outsource it to get done. And that's not cheap either. So these Chinese companies are going to make ABS plastic mold injected ones, uh, like the Franken skull. Yep. You know, it's difficult to buy those Franken skulls, or when you do, they're going to be like a hundred bucks. You can buy a $15 one, but is it safe? And not only that, it comes with an atomizer. I'm like, well, first of all, Franken skull never made an atomizer. Second of all, are you really going to be able to give us all of that for fifteen dollars, and it be of any quality or safety? I don't know. You know, I bought I bought a Franken skull clone out of curiosity. I did too. Okay, and it's a piece of shit. I haven't even yeah. used it. I won't use. It. I'm afraid to use it. Yeah, yeah. they're not. The, they're not the same. Garbage, Tony. There, That's there was... why it cost it fucking under twenty bucks. Right, because yeah, it's a piece of shit. Yeah. yeah. Tony posted a video on his group uh, last week, maybe. I think it was a Scottish company that was, like, building a squonk box out of wood by hand. And it was, like, a yeah. sped-up video. Was, and uh -huh. it was unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, to look at the amount of time and craftsmanship and, and fucking skill that went into building that thing, if it was me making it, it would be a 1000 bucks. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Because what's your time worth? What's your income you want to make? How, how many employees do you have? You know, all that kind of stuff. you got to appreciate it to make it worth it. Pretty much. If you don't appreciate it, then you're it's, you're not going to see the money. It's worth the money. Yeah. I have a question for Tony. Yeah. Uh, lately, I've been trying to get into uh, finding, like, uh, um, the bottles. I'm into the bottle thing with sponsors. And um, I've asked some people uh, message me and gave me links to uh, where you could get different style bottles and right. different sizes. Sure. How do you know what bottle is going to fit in your mod that you have? How do you determine all that? When you're well, looking at you know, as far as the fit, all you have to do is find out what size bottle that they use. This is from Sandy Mods. This is uh -huh. out of France. And so if I wanted to change out the bottle, then either if I have other bottles where I know what size they are, and after you've used these for a while, you're going to go, oh, I know what size bottle that is at six mil, you know, that kind of thing. 
Um, as long as the bottle is the same milliliters, for the most part, they all are cross compatible. Uh, the big ones are Luco Silk, which are fantastic. I love those bottles. Uh, and the Cappy V4. And actually, there's a new Cappy V6, I want to say, that has a Delrin top on it. You know how you were saying it has the metal on the boxer one? You know, it's pushing away. It's, it's yeah. Delrin, so you don't have to worry about the contact hitting metal or anything like that. Yeah. Like, that. like for example, this one here, it's, it's, that wasn't the box, more for this one. Yeah. I put the boxer uh, bottle in here. Uh -huh. And what happens is because this metal right here on the bottle itself, it's pretty big. And what it's happened? taller. You'll see that they made this contact. Can you see that? They made this contact to dip around. Right. See, mine cap. is hitting. Yeah, it's, it's hitting right on it. So. Yeah. But luckily, they have that wrapped, so you don't have to worry about it. But. Right, right. That's. I wasn't worried about that because it's protected. Yeah. So I'm hitting on there. It's more of a, like this bottle here, it does work. But right. now I want to find, if I want to find a different bottle to replace something with a smaller thing you know this part here the cap. yeah some of it is just trial and error and the problem is that these bottles can be expensive boxer bottles are great they're 11 bucks they pretty much are the same thing as the lucos now I, somebody when i posted something up on instagram they were like oh well i heard that you know here's the thing when you start hearing stuff or i don't read reddit or anything like that because it's usually not positive about any of the things that I want to read about. Fuck Tony in his fucking face. <laughs> you know, pretty much. What I don't I, read Reddit either. I don't read it. You know, so, but, so the controversy that this person was talking about was like, oh, well, I heard these bottles suck. And I'm like, well, what sucks about them? Well, they're too soft. Well, he made this. Now, you got to remember, the hole on this is a little bit smaller than most of these uh, bottom feeder mods. So he made the bottle really soft so you didn't have to, you know, jam your finger in there trying to do it. So they were made for this, right? But since people want these soft bottles, it's basically a silicone bladder. I mean, this is not even a bottle like most of them. It's just super easy. I, to, love, I love the feel of it. They're really nice. So 11 bucks compared to a Luco Silk, which could be $30. And then most of the time, you got to find them on a French website like Phileas Cloud or, uh, or Dot Mod, which I was like, Dot Mod? No, this is a French website. But they'll be 30 bucks, and then you got to pay shipping. And yeah. shipping will be 30 bucks. So, you know, um, just don't listen to everything that everybody else says until you've seen it yourself. That's the way I look at it. How like, about, you have you seen these from Boxer yet? I don't have one of those yet, but yeah, that's cool. That's a refill bottle. Yes. This, have, uh, basically, this one here is a prototype of the ones he's getting. Yeah. Uh, the bottle itself is very soft on this one. He told me the ones he's right. getting. So They're going to be a little bit thicker, so this way it's not as... Right. Off does this. Take off the top of that so people can see what, what that is. Yep. Imagine having a squonk mod with a bottle that big. That'd be fucking awesome. Yeah, right? So then I might look at a bigger mod if it was that, you know, if I could have a bottle. You, that unscrew, you unscrew the top and it's got a 510 with a Delrin protector here just in case. Oh, that is nice. And you just screw it on a top where your RDA would go. And you squeeze and you fill the bladder that's inside your mod. Now, there is a trick to that because I use those refill. The Archon, if you've noticed, the Archon, the bottle is a little bit difficult to get off there because it's a threaded 510. Mm -hmm. So uh, right away, I was like, hey, Isaac, Chris, how do, I mean, they said, well, you need a refill bottle. That's your best way. So the refill bottle, when you screw that on there, here's the deal. So think about this, right? Yeah. It's a seal between the two. So when you push it, it pushes the liquid in, but as soon as you yeah. let it go, it sucks it back up. So here's the trick that I use, okay? I, I will put the, the put it onto the 510, then I, I flip it over, and then I squeeze, or no, I'm sorry, then I squeeze it in, then flip the mod over so that the, by the way, no leaks out of the pulse, man, upside down. <laughs> <laughs> Had to get my, gotta get my plug in there. Yeah. Anyway, um, so when you flip it upside down, then that tip of the, uh, you know, of the tube is exposed now in the bubble that's there, so when you let it go, it stays up in there. Yeah. So, that's that's the tip on that. When are the fillers coming out? The five ten fillers soon. I think uh, he didn't. I don't remember. He had told me. I think the end of this month. If I'm not mistaken. I hope they just you know you just take this and you stick it right in you know with the nipple and then you could just squeeze and it would just fill up. Oh That'd no! Cool. You do it like this. You this unscrews off. And there's a five ten on there, Brian. I show, yeah, the top is the five ten, oh. but this is the way you fill the bottle. Yeah. 
And you can just pour it in there. Take the yeah. top off. Dump the juice in there. And you screw it on. Mm-hmm. Sweet. Yep, you screw this on. You carry this with you to refill. Then the top of this then unscrews. And it's got the 510 right there. Beautiful. Well, one thing I like about that is it has that Delrin on the tip. See, he had told me about that, but I haven't seen it yet. Yeah. And what's great about that is even, you know, so the, the super soft uh, refill bottles have been around for a while. I bought a couple of them from Phileas Cloud, and uh, it, they're nice, but they're they're not as soft as that. So they're a little bit harder. You've got to really squeeze those things. Mm-hmm. And there is no, you know, Delrin on there to protect it. So I don't know if you're really going to get a short, but I think that's a nice little feature on there. Yeah, he did it just in case if you're filling it and you press the fire button, Yeah, you get a short. Yeah, I'm really surprised that Ginger Vapor, ha- I mean, this being his first squonk, it took that much time and thought to put these things together. That locking button on there. Oh, there's it, so much thought that in every part of that thing. It's ridiculous. The 510 is his own 510 because yep. he looked at the ones that were available and was like, I don't like them. So yep. I'm going to put my own in there. So it's spring-loaded. Um, you know, the the context, I don't know, man. You know, people, I don't know what it is. There's some people that hate on Boxer, but I'm like, you know, look, it's, the guy has done a great job. And yeah, there might be a few hiccups in releasing this. It's the first one for them. But they're yeah. small, man. It's just a fucking passionate group of, you know, like innovative motherfuckers, guys. you know? Yeah. yeah. And how about the inside of the boxer? Like when I first opened it up and how he continued the boxer logo internally. To, dude, the little details that you could just tell his fucking heart was into it. Now, I saw that. Was it Mark that said that if liquid gets in there, that is a bitch? It is a bitch because I've gotten some liquid in there. If you pull the bottle out, um, just a tip for you on using any of these things. When you pull the bottle out of here might have a little paper towel and just kind of dab off the tip of the connector that's there because yeah, I did that. I pulled the bottle out and liquid dripped out and into there. I was like, Oh man, I had to get a cute tip and was like, mm, mm, mm. I like how I could take the five ten out of the box or, and rinse it. Oh yeah. You know, well, it's super easy. It's it out, everything. It's all comes apart, put it back together. So I haven't done that yet. Mike, have you taken yours out? Yeah, I did it in my video. I showed how to oh. do it. All that took it all apart. Right. <laughs> but well, okay. So that that notch that's in there, that you just stick a coin in there. Is that how you do it? Oh, oh. You just unscrew it. This here. You grab this piece here and start unscrewing it. Okay. Yep. And okay. It comes cool. Right out. Nice. That's how you change. Uh, you take that out, and then there's a screw on the inside where you unscrew this piece out, right. and you could take. That's how you replace the button. Yeah. yeah, see, I haven't done that yet. Yeah, yeah, to take it apart. It would have been cool if that was textured, you know, Mike? If there that's was, like, hard. some knurling or something on that metal, because yeah. it's yeah. kind of hard. When your fingers get juice, because that's Sweet. where the juice connects, it's mm-hmm. hard to know that it's spinning. Yeah, that's why I said when you do <coughs> it hard to put it back together, don't crank it with your fingers. Don't try and put it too tight on yeah. it, or yeah. else you're going to have somebody a bitch taking it off. But uh, it's pretty cool. I like that whole concept of being able to take apart the 510 on the fly, rinse it out if you want to. You know, at the same time while you're rinsing out your bottle, you're cleaning everything. You know, it's easy to get in there and clean the mud. Yep. The insides. Also, the battery removal is just perfect when the side comes off. The fact that you can just grab your battery and just, you know, yep. slide it in and out. It's so perfect. Yeah, because a lot of these, like, let me just show you. The wrap tears. Yeah, and not only that, so. That's one thing I do like about the minimal mods. Let me pop this open here. So he's got a battery ribbon in here, and it just goes through the little slot that's right there. And he had it. He, and I was like, well, why didn't you secure that in there? He said, well, because I want you to be able to replace it because these things tear. Also, because on this side, you can use that to pull your bottle out, and on this side, to pull your battery out. Because if you don't have one of those in there, then what happens is okay that is a tight little some bitch right there man i mean you've got the the you know the uh contacts right there and down there and it battery just barely fits in there you got to really jam it in there so to get it out you either got to take your bottle out of there and just kind of finger it and try to get it out of there or you got to sit there and slam it on your palm yeah the battery pops out and i just uh, i don't want to have to do that i i don't like those tabs i'll give you an example uh the archon has that tab and it bothers the shit out of me. I try yeah. to because <laughs> it gets in the way of the doors. You know I what I'm saying? I, I get a little that. wobble from it. So I'm thinking about actually taking it totally out because 
for me, the batteries, I, I just got to do, just do that, and the battery See, runs right out from it. Well, on the Archon, it does. They purposefully made the Archon so that it would be easier to get the battery out of there. Yeah. What he does on minimal mod, see how he puts that little divot in the door right there? Yes. That goes where the battery ribbon is. So that's, that does help. I like that. That's, you know, that shows the thought, you know, he puts thought into that. This guy, man, you know, he told me his story. He, he basically uh, had some kind of a health issue and was stuck in the house and, you know, he wanted to, to get a squonk mod. So he was on all these groups and he couldn't get in and, you know, couldn't get in for the buy. So he was like, well, I'm stuck in the house, so I'm going to learn 3D CAD because he's always done design work. And that's why he designed these things. And he's like, I really designed them for me. I put them up on Facebook and people wanted to buy them. So I started a Facebook group and started selling. Them. Yeah. How, how do you guys feel about the squonk elitists that act like, you know, because, you know, they'll say things like, oh, Tony and Mike and Mark and Brian, they, they, they're they just getting into this. We've been doing this for fucking years. Well, they're just always, jumping on the bandwagon. Yeah, there's, there's always going to be that. Um, you know, I have had this halcyon since last year, and that's when I started really going, okay, I like this. Um, before that, I remember the Steam Crave squawk. Yeah. Like, I know you had that, and you were like... I, I did, too. Yeah. He was like, this looks really... Yeah, I, you know, there was that. There was a couple of others that had come out that I was like, eh. You know? And then I got the drip box, and I was like, hey, okay. This is actually kind of cool. I like that you can just drop a coil in there if you want to. Yeah. I think that's cool. Um, and then I used that for a little while, and then I got, you know, a couple more. and was like, okay, I'm, I'm liking this. I would be I would be pissed because you realize the Squonk community was small, so they were able to have access to all these mods and not have to wait in line. Now with everyone becoming so popular, now everyone can't get their hands on the limited shit. So that's a good point. I'd be kind yeah. of pissy. And does it devalue the limited shit because now there's going to be good quality mass produced shit? Yep. Uh -huh. So you know I mean, what I mean? I mean, there's always everyone always has an opinion, and everyone always has the right to their opinions. True. Absolutely. This community can have douchebags. This community can have welcoming communities and groups. You know, it's all about whatever people want. It's free. To, you're free to do what the fuck you want. That's true. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I've had a couple people tell me, yeah, you know, what you're doing is cool because I like that people are getting exposed to it. But there's some people that don't like it, man. I'm like, I don't oh, care man. if they don't like it. You know, this is just another tool. Keep us off cigarettes. Yep. I know. I'm like, dude. Uh, they get, they, if they don't like it, they go, in my opinion, they go screw themselves. Like, yeah. I like, yeah, like, I like squonking. Thing. Don't get me wrong. And I use it probably more when I go out. But I don't think it's ever going to replace just regular dripping for me because I still like to take my cap off and just look as I'm squonking. Just one of those things I still enjoy doing. Sure. I don't that's think it's going to replace just direct dripping for me. That's one thing that's great about the pulse, man, because, you know, pop that cap off of there. You can actually look down in there. I don't even need to. I can see it right through the I'm very stuff. confident with the pulse knowing that it's saturated because of how, 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 that, how that system works when you squeeze it and it flows uh -huh. into the well. I just yeah. – I know it's going to be wet. Yeah. You know, it's different. Yeah. I don't know. I still – just like Mark was saying, though, I have a tendency to want to pop it off and look. Yeah. 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 You know, it's it's weird. I was sitting here tonight before the show started, and I was thinking, like, which one of these devices? Because I have a lot, I have a couple, you know, of these squonkers, and I'm thinking to myself, each one of them is so unique, and they each give a different feel to the hand and a different yeah. experience. And yeah. I appreciate each of them. If I, you know, I bought this out of my pocket, and right. I would buy each one of these because they're just different. They're this is metal, and it has the finger grips, and it has, you know. Uh, the stealthy size and everything. And then this one has the locking switch and it's just innovative and neat right. to hold in the hand. And then the, the 2700 boxy feel of this feels good too. Mm -hmm. There's a place for tons of products and different types of vapors. And I can go from this to, you know, the fucking light bulb <laughs> on, on this. And I can also go to a tube mech and they each help me not smoke and they make me feel passionate about vaping. And it's interesting, you know? Yeah, that's one thing for me, too, is I like that I'm not, you know, losing interest because I was losing interest in tanks. I was like, I don't know, man. Every one of these freaking things is the same. I mean, you know, uh, OK, so this one opens on the top. This one slides over. This one spins. This one has a different coil. I, you know, I just I was kind of losing a little bit of the passion for it. So this helped me out because I was like, all right. But, you know, the, I, I, when I did the video for the minimal mods, I talked about that because I was like, 
you know, I, I don't want to bring in another mod and put it next to it and go, well, this one has this, but this one doesn't because each one of them is their own little thing. And especially because a lot of these are passion projects for guys that are making them. I don't think it's fair for me to go, well, this one's better than this because of this. I'm like, actually, I love each one of these for a different reason. You know, I mean, I, it's, it's really hard to say. Some of them are simple. Some of them are complicated. That's why I have people that ask me, uh, what do you like better, Mike, the boxer squonker or the SQ squonker? I won't answer that question to them. Yeah. Watch the videos and decide which one you like, you know, then purchase, make your purchase. You know, that's, you have to figure that out on your own. I don't want to start comparing them, you know, because these guys, they work hard on these mods. You know, they're not yeah. something that's mass produced. China, the stuff in China, they don't give a shit. For them, you get to compare. Yeah. It's they're, they're mass producing that shit. It's I mean, I, I pretty, might... I might compare the chaos to the Fu Chai because, well, yeah. they're kind of the same thing. Yeah. Exactly. But I'm not going to compare. I'm not going to compare these uh, squonkers to them. No. Yeah. And also the the resale value on things that are limited production. Uh, you know, the community likes to trade amongst each other. You know what I mean? It's like, oh, I'll use the Archon this week, and then you have the Boxer, and then we'll trade off or whatever. It's kind of cool that way. Are there well, all, like squonking Facebook groups? Hell yeah. Oh, oh, there's yeah. tons of them, tons of them. There's Squonker's Paradise, there's Squonk Life, there's Squonker's Paradise International. <clears throat> Mark, there's uh, a they... Facebook group for uh, the vape team too, Mark. I didn't yeah. even know that. I just found it out yesterday. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Squonker's Hall of Fame. Um, but yeah, you know, I, it's, it's, it's... How about that Squonk mod, that comp the one that I put up on the group page? Tony Franken's, uh, no, Danger Mods. Oh, is that the one that you, you bought one of those, right? Yeah, I got it. I put that. Remember, I we were talking inside yes. there. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. What I didn't buy that one yet, but I might. It looks really cool. They're right? real nice. That version three one is beautiful. I love yeah, it. Yeah, it's kind of got the rounded edges. Yeah, I can't wait to get that in my hands. Yeah. Uh, question for you, Tony. Yes. Uh, what do you prefer, material wise, for a squonker? Do you uh, do you prefer the regular three D printed, like for example, the boxer, <laughs> this three D printed? Or do you prefer, like, I don't know if you have an Alumi Archon or if you have I another do. one. What yeah, do you I have, I have the Alumi Archon. Do you like, or do you like, like the SQ's body? And not the body, the field. I, you know what? It's really interesting because the SQ is the only one that I have that is like a billet aluminum like that. And I was kind of, yeah, it's way smaller than it looked. Like the first pictures you showed me, I was like, eh. Yeah, I'll check it out. But once I got it, I was like, oh, my God, I love this thing. Yeah, that's the way I saw it. When I got it, I was like, whoa, I thought it was I, – and seeing it in pictures, Yeah, it seems bigger. When I got it in my hand, I was like, oh, my God, this thing is tiny. Plus the finish on this thing. I, I guess, you know, it's a hard anodized aluminum. Yep. Feels really good. And then you've got this one here, the Steam Rabbit. This one – I don't know if you'll be able to tell. But it's it's nylon, but it has a carbon – blasted finish on it so it feels really cool i like the feel of that one and the doors on the minimal mods are also like that um brian get off your phone one of the options that you can do is uh you know is is the uh, whatever but the aluminum lumide is nice the only thing about alumide is that it's a more brittle material so if you drop this hits it on the corner I don't know if it's going to break or if it's. Yes, I had a, I had a boxer, uh, when a boxer DNA two hundred with the lipo in it, and that one was the Aluma, and he had told me that uh, if you drop it, it's, it might break on you. That thing, you know, it's not like the regular three D printed nylon. Right. Nylon ones, if you, I've dropped the nylon ones, and they don't the, break on me. Yeah, the door is going to pop off, but that's. But about it. for some reason, the Aluma, like the Archon. I love the feel of the. I do too. I, I really love the alumide feel. It's yeah. a slightly grainy feel. Yes, but I'm also very careful that I don't drop this. I know if I drop it, it's probably going to break on me. Yeah. yeah. I like the alumide quite a bit, and uh, you know I'm glad to see more people making them. You know that anchor box mods that I've had on social media a bunch. Uh huh. Very distracting, Mark. <laughs> oh, I saw a picture. You put a picture up with an anchor. <laughs> you just got corrected there. Yeah. <laughs> I saw a picture of with an anchor and the yeah. mod. So, so he has an alumide version of that coming out. Now, he he does all the prints himself on the nylon ones, but he's having to outsource to do the alumide because, you know, it's 
I don't, it's not the same kind of printing as, you know, a regular nylon printer. Yeah. Uh, and, you, you know, and then there's, there's also a big difference in the quality. Like, I don't know if you can see the texture on this thing. See, it's kind of, you can see all the print marks and stuff on it. Yeah. You can tell this guy's printing these himself. He's got, you know, maybe a, you got to remember these printers are not cheap. It might be a $10,000 printer he's got, but, you know, then you've got boxer mods and that is, while you can still tell that it's printed, you don't have all those print marks and stuff. It's nice and smooth. But with a Lumide, you're never going to have any of that. Right. Totally <laughs> you got a fucking C cup, bro. <laughs> really sagging. I need to start wearing a bra. Yeah. You need a bro. You ever squonk your titty into your RDA, Mark? <laughs> I do have nice tits, though. They're like firm. They're not like. It may seem droopy, but they're they're hard. Are those yours in the background there? Yeah, those are mine actually. Yeah, yeah. I, I've actually I looks familiar. Yeah. Brian took the photo in Detroit. Mike was motorboating Mark's ass when I took the picture. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Can you motorboat an ass? Probably could be kind of messy. Yeah. Might get a little shit on your nose. I think we should have the Tony B. Squonk Life check in regularly on the vape team. You know, when there's all these new mods keep rolling out. Yeah. You know, and also I, I know that you are, uh, you know, in the background creating some really cool stuff. So, you know, I'm sure when new products come out, it'll be nice to have you on to talk about the process and see what's going on with it. Yeah, absolutely. I, a lot of people, Mike, I'm sure you've gotten this too, are like, so tell me, can you tell me about how it came about to do this Vandy vape thing? I'm like, I can't because I have an NDA and, and no, <laughs> I can't do that, you know, but I can tell you that it's a long process. It means a lot of late night, um, you know, or early mornings typing um, and early morning they're going to dinner. <laughs> you know, they're like, Oh yeah. So I'm getting ready to go to dinner. Can you look at this? And how about this? And a lot of back and forth and sending you products and you looking at it and going, yeah, that's the, uh, no, you got to fix that. So it is a long process. It takes a lot of work to do. And it's, um, you know, it's not like I'm getting rich off of it. No, <laughs> it's a tiny little bit. People, I was, like I said, I'm just happy to have this for myself. Yeah. Pe people act like it's like a phone call and they say, Oh, Mike, uh, I got this perfectly complete project here and I just want to stamp your fucking name on it and uh, yeah. we'll, we'll go with it. No. It's so not that it's so much work. Um, sometimes I'm not, I haven't finished a project yet, so I don't have that satisfaction. And then there's a lot of days you think to yourself, is this even fucking worth it? Yep. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's where I'm at right now, actually. You know what I mean? It's like, Oh my God, if I have to, if I have to look at one more thing, that's not right, I'm going to fucking lose it. But, but the patients on the other end, of the, on their side is pretty amazing too. Yeah. Cause they're working hard and frustrated with you and frustrated with the process, the language barrier, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Not so. only that, we expect them to understand. We kind of expect them to understand us, but it's, it's hard to understand them. And it's like, they're probably going, dude, if you could just speak Chinese to me, you know of what course. I thought about? I don't know if it was on whose show it was on, but I guess, uh, what's his name? Oh my God. What's the dude's name? O.J. Simpson? Twisted Messes. Oh. He speaks Chinese. That's why they, oh. he has so many atomizers out, and it, because it's so easy for him to communicate with China. God, that would be awesome. I didn't realize he spoke Chinese. No oh, shit. I'm going to get a Chinese mail order bride, actually. And that's a true story. It's not, it's not bullshit. He does speak Chinese. That's, that's cool. awesome. That's why he has like six RDAs out, because he could just... And then, bam, it's at his doorstep. That was fucked up, Mark, what you just said. <laughs> Well, all right, anyway, uh, <laughs> i got to move on. We have a giveaway to announce from last week, Mark, so if you could hop on there and take a peek at the... Uh, I'll get right the, on there. Uh, the list. There's a, a Coil Master uh, kit that was uh, put up for the giveaway last week from uh, bradsvapor.com, and let me tell you something. These fucking kits are awesome. You yeah. should definitely have a kit with all the little tools, all the little things you're going to use on the daily to get into building or to, to complete your kit for building. It never hurts to have more than one. I'm glad I have multiple kits because in every room I have these and I have, you know, scissors and tweezers and all kinds of stuff like that. So Do you remember hurts. before they actually had these kits and you were like, okay, I'm going to go to Harbor freight. I'm going to yep. buy this thing. <laughs> it was like, 
you know, I, I need a kit. And then when they came out with them, I was like, ah. Oh. I remember using, it, it was like, I think they were like lefty, like kindergarten scissors that I was using for cutting my, my <laughs> cotton. And meanwhile, Mike Vapes had like these fucking super elite, like hairdressers. And he would just like think and the, yeah, the, the cotton would just up. fall. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah those. Yeah. Those are nice. And you could hear the blades like sliding past each other. You know what I mean? Zip, zip. You ready? Yeah. You want a winner? Yeah, let me make a clarification first, though. If you're a winner, and you're all winners, by the way, if you don't win, to me and and to uh, Tony and Mike. Mark, not so much. He probably <laughs> judges you. Um, but contact me on the Vapor Chronicles on uh, Facebook Messenger, and I need your first name, your last name, your mailing address. Must be in the United States. I also need a picture of your photo ID and your email address. That's so it. Number, credit card. Yes. No. Eyes and what else? Date of birth. Fingerprints. Fingerprints. Yes. Okay. Fingerprints. No. No fingerprints. Oh. Okay. Uh, also, <laughs> you're, you're sidetracking me here, Mark. You're, you're making sure I know my shit, aren't you? Yep. <laughs> yep. Um. I don't need to hear your life story, your vape story. I do care, but at the same time, I get so many messages, and I want to make sure that – because what I do is when I get the, the message from you, I actually take a screenshot and send the screenshot of that information over to Brad's Vapor, and it makes it so much easier than having to have all the stuff to cut and paste and send over. So if you could do that, that would be awesome. I wish you all the best. And we also have a giveaway for next week, and I'll announce it after Mark picks the winner. So go ahead, Mark. All right, the winner is, I'm going to say this in English, not Chinese, Rick Nelson. He says, help me build that shit, Brad. Rick Nelson. Congratulations, Ricky. R-I-C-K Nelson. Get off your damn phone, Brian. Thank you. I was looking at the product for next week's giveaway, Mark. Thank you. Focus on this, and then we can... Dude, you on. zoned out for like 50 minutes on this fucking show. You were like looking at like... I think you have like a chia pet in the corner or something, and you were grooming it. <laughs> He's like, Tony is just talking too much. I'm going to sit right over here and be quiet. I was focused. He was I probably was... on Reddit talking shit about all of us. I was learning. I'm a learner. Right. Yeah. There's a, there's a, there's a title of a, a person that trolls on Reddit named Fagan's Fuckboys. <laughs> and uh, I think it might be you. But uh, for next week's show, we're going to be giving away the Vaporesso Revenger kit. Ooh, that's a nice one. So, yeah. That, it it's looks a, cool. It really does look cool. The Vaporesso Revenger kit. So, um, Get the red one. It's the best one. Red one's dope. Dope. So what you need to do is you need to post in the comments section after the video re-uploads. Not right now, but after it re-uploads. And you need to so you need to uh, post. Uh, 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 you having a stroke? Are you finished? Oh, okay. I thought you were having a stroke. Go ahead. Help me exact my revenger, Brad. Help me. Ex would that be correct, Tony? Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's sort of a right. play on words a little bit. But yeah. help me exact my revenger, Brad. Mike, do you agree with that? I don't think they'll be able to spell that. What the fuck does that mean? Mark, it's okay. You're gonna I be will able, exact my revenge. Yes, you're you're in a safe place, Mark. You're amongst <laughs> friends. Mark's all confused on that guy. I'm confused as hell. I don't we're, gonna, know. we're gonna need to coddle him after this show, Mike. Yeah, I don't understand what's going on. I'm lost. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go. Help me exact my revenge, Brad. Uh, people are requesting they want to see Black Keith. Black Keith made an appearance earlier in the show. Hmm. All right. Well, anyway, yeah, we've come to the end of the show. We always like to leave you guys with a little bit of vape love. First of all, huge congratulations, Tony, uh, for his 100,000 subscriber plaque that he's been showing off. I didn't think Major I was accomplishment. I was like, YouTube's going to cut it off and say, no more vape channels get these. Or something, but... I don't know. Have, have, have any of you guys had your videos demonetized? Like mm, no. Two of them. Two. I had one video, and it was for the Nicholas tank. I was like, what? Huh? Yeah. It, it was because I said mouth to lung, I think, in the title instead of MTL. 
And I think that those triggered the words or I don't know what the hell that I was like, huh, that's interesting. I had two, but that was like, like a couple of months ago. Yeah. And one of them I actually fought and I got it re back on. But my G class, SX, uh, the SX Mini G class review, that one there, they won't, they said it can't be monetized. Meanwhile, if I, I watched the video, there's nothing, no cursing or I didn't, I wasn't nude in that video. I <laughs> had it once. <laughs> so yeah, kind of strange. Where yeah. you hang up? What are you doing with your plaque? Where'd you put yours? I haven't decided yet. It's right over here. Hold on a second. I think you should get a chain to wear it around your neck. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I think. So I have, I have this. My wife is like, you're, you're so juvenile. I have a uh, Budweiser neon that's down in my living room. Uh -huh. You know, neons are difficult to get. So I got this back when I worked in radio and I was so you know stoked with it. So it's been in my living room. It's kind of one of those holdovers from the bachelor days. And she's like, that's got to go. So the other day I go, how about if we put the plaque there? And she's like, no. I said, so you're happy with the neon then? <laughs> I, had, I had mine sitting around. I never put it up. And yeah. uh, actually, one of my subs says to me, I uh, saw the YouTube box because I had it like on the corner. I table. saw that, too. I was like, yeah. There so, you go. People are, uh, so one guy's like, oh, it's sitting there collecting dust. They said. So right when I read that comment, I went right away and hung it up. Yeah. Yeah, Yo, you should take the play button out of the container and you should get a, a brass knuckle ring made out of it and just walk that would around. Be with, awesome. You know what I mean? Or just hanging around your neck. Yeah, or hanging around your neck. You see my pony. Or, or a belt buckle. I hung I hung mine up right there. That? Oh, there Bottom it right below uh, right. Yep, Pacino. Yeah. That's gangster, dude. Yeah, it's, uh, uh, that was a nice moment. When I got it, I was, like, super excited, man. It's really weird, though, because, I, you know, people were like, well, you didn't just get it right away? And I said, no. It's like you have to, if you're a YouTuber who gets past 100,000, you have to wait for them to send you a message on your dashboard, then you have to take that message and reply to it. Then you get a code back and then you have to put the code in. And then it's six to 12 weeks after that for it to get here. Yeah. yeah I was going to say a belt buckle finger banging. Fa <laughs> a belt buckle would be dope. Yeah, it would be. Yeah. You'd be like, yeah, that's right, bitch. Yep. <laughs> when you're bagging chicks, you can look down at it and be like, yeah, play that it's, motherfucker. It's shiny. So you can see yourself. Look at you. Exactly. You're <laughs> filthy. Look at your ass. You're <laughs> filthy. <laughs> All right. I've had a couple of beers now, so I'm like... Uh, You're warmed up. Yeah. Yeah. Tony's actually worse than all of us combined. I just want to let everybody know that. No. Oh, come on. <laughs> well, you know, get a few... Get, get a little liquor in me and, and maybe... No. <laughs> yeah. Kimmy Vape just wrote, Phenom has five gold play buttons. That he oh, jewelry. <laughs> yeah. He bought his off eBay. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. I don't know, man. I, I've never won. I, I was not a big sports guy. I didn't play baseball or football or any of that kind of stuff. Uh, foosball. But, um, you know, so I never got trophies. And back when I was a kid, if you were to play one of those, you'd only get a trophy if you actually won. So, uh, but, you know, so I was pretty stoked. Hey. Like, this is nice. Yeah, it is nice. It's something that in the future you could look back on, like, you know, you'd be like, yeah. hey, look at this. Hell yeah, after YouTube fucks over everybody so much with the demonetization oh, and changing man. the funds and, and a new platform opens and this thing disappears into the ether, yeah. uh, we'll look back at that play button with fond memories. Yep. Yeah. You know? It is pretty cool, though. It's really you. awesome. Congratulations. Thank you, man. Well, and uh, also congratulations on the Pulse. Huge thing, huge accomplishment. It's an awesome well, RDA. I'm uh, I'm really stoked about it, man. You know, I mean, uh, it's, it's, I, I, Grim Green, did you see his video today by any chance, his, his vlog? Mm -mm. He said some really nice stuff about me today. He did say that I stole his – he goes, well, I'm not even mad that he stole my uh, recoil's airflow. And, well, truth is, I was inspired by it, you know. I mean, I liked the recoil. I used the hell out of that thing. Couldn't squonk with it, though. So I was like, all right. Um the, the the real reason why I wanted that there when I you know when when I had drawn up my designs and I showed them to Vandy Vape they were like well 
you know, why don't we do it like the tsunami with, with bottom airflow? I was like, no, no, no. I don't like bottom airflow. I know it's great for some people, but for me, if you over squonk, liquid's going to go in there. It's going to end up out and on your mod. Or even just the condensation and stuff gets out on your mod. So I want the airflow up. I want it up there and I want direct. I want it to be hitting that coil. Um, the tubes, I didn't really come up with that. I was like, look, I want that airflow to be right on there. So how can we do it? And Stefan Z came back with those tubes and I went, ah, now we're talking. So I was pretty happy with that. But yeah, we the original drawings had it, you know, like a block bringing it in close. Those tubes just blew that out, man. I'll Set it off. Yeah. Awesome, man. So that's it. Anybody? Anything else from uh, you, Mike or Mark? That's it. That's it. That's it. We're done. Awesome week, guys. This we was a it. this was a squonkrific fucking show. I'm gonna go squonk myself to death. You are. <laughs> You're going to stick your finger in your squonk hole? Hell yeah, baby. I like to put a little bit of lotion on those soft, plush bottles, and I like to just rub my helmet with it like I'm based in <laughs> a turkey. But I do have, I do have to say that uh, I know the way you are, Tony, with the squonking. That, yeah. I'm, start, I'm feeling that passion big time, too. It's Okay, uh, real quickly, before we wrap oh, this up, oh, I, I, I talked about this in the minimal mods thing. I said, okay. Let me give you my progression, and I think this is the progression for a lot of people that squonk. Okay, so you started off with regular clarimizers. You're like, oh, these are pretty good. I'm actually getting some flavor. Then you got a sub ohm tank like uh, Atlantis. You're like, oh, this is great, man. I'm getting flavor that I've never had before, vapor that I've never had before. And then you got maybe the sub tank, and it had that RBA. And I was like, oh, crap. So I'm going to try this building thing. And I built it, and I was like, oh, I, you know, because I was like, I'm never going to do dripping. I will never do that because that's ridiculous. Why am I going to, you know, it's, it's dangerous. I'm scared. Uh, but once I got over that with the RBA, I was like, oh, cool. So the next natural progression is, well, if I like this, why don't I just get an RTA, a dedicated rebuildable tank? Great. Well, they have issues. Every one of them has leaking potential if you don't wick them right or whatever, because there's liquid sitting in there above where your stuff is. So, okay. So... Then you go, all right, I'm going to try dripping. I, I can build pretty good. So then you get a dripper, you build it, and you're like, this is amazing. The flavor way blows out the flavor from these tanks that I've been using. But I got to carry around a bottle blah, blah, every three hits or so. So, you know, I was in a casino in Las Vegas using a dripper, and I was like, what a pain in the ass. I got to keep playing. All right. So then I found squonking and was like, oh, crap. Well, this is like all of that together. I don't have to worry about carrying around a bottle. I don't have to worry about any of that. I get all the benefits of dripping and it's all in one. I'm good to go. So, you know, then of course the rabbit hole ensues after that. Yep. So. Hey, you said it. That's perfectly said, brother. Yeah. Also, everyone, special guest next week, all the way from across the pond, we have Vape and Biker joining us next week oh, cool. on the show. So yeah. Vape and Biker is going to be joining the Vape team next week. It's just going to be a one-two punch. Mark is going to lose his fucking mind. And uh, we're here for you, Mark. We love you still. We're going to be here to love you through it. Thank you. Oh, I love <laughs> the the, uh, the Vape and Bogan show, man. Yeah, that was an awesome show. He's great. I mean, he's like the complete opposite of what my channel is, but I I love watching it. He's, he's hilarious. I'm like, man, I, I think it was funnier when he was more a Bogan, you know? Yeah. When he had the, the crazy voices and stuff, but you know, and Dean, I love watching his stuff. He's very, very professional, and I love I love Dean's reviews. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I think the biggest strength for this community is just the different personalities and the draws and the little special intricacies that we all differ in, and, and it brings us all together. And, and there's something for everybody. Yeah, absolutely. You know, so Mark is actually a huge. Uh, a supporter and also his his viewers are uh, g the Gay Trucker Association of America group. That um, is correct. Yeah, he pulls a big trucking crowd, and um, I do I do pull in the truckers for some weird, creepy reason. I yep. don't know. It's your people, man. Everybody's got their people. That's right. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> has their people. I'm I'm big at the transgender, the uh, LGBTVC group. So. <laughs> 
<laughs> actually goes perfectly. It does. Well, All right, guys, that's it. We're going to get ourselves in trouble. So uh, the Politically Incorrect show is fucking over. The Vape Team, 113, squonk, we're done. And uh, much love. So thanks, Tony. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Mark. Check all their channels out. Follow them. Love them. Good night, everyone. Adios. Ah! Swank, swank. Swank. Swank, swank. Doing the outro. Shh. Mama. Mark, shut up. Mark, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Mark, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Uh. Mike, you were right about the uh, the go bad RTA. Close that airflow about halfway, a lot better flavor. Yeah. Tony, we're still in the outro. Oh. <laughs> it's, a, it's a five minute outro. Thank you, Tony. Yeah. Yeah. I have a problem. <laughs> this is good information, though. We're feeding on just a 10 minute outro. <laughs>